Trivia Nation. How quick was that weekend, huh? Hi, I'm The Weekend. Bye. This is your boy, Money Flippin' Matt Richards, testing brain power at the top of the hour. Ready to pay if you do okay. You feel me? And you made it to the end of one more weekend, so good job to you. It's a great thing you showed up because the weekend's running out. Yeah, and you can't confront Monday without building your mind up. You need that extra blast of processing power to deal with everything the week may throw at you. So we aim to provide, as always. You regulars already know the drill. We're gonna toss 12 super tough questions out your way, and whomst has the smarts and the wits to tap 12 correct answers in response becomes a certified egghead. And we'll divvy up the pretty pennies. 5,000 green and crinklies. Will you be wise like an owl? Or throw in that towel. But between you and me, you can miss a question if you have an extra life on hand. You can earn them by playing regularly or buy them with the uh, in-game coins we give out. What a deal! <laughs> and another thing you regulars will know is that we've been shouting out and helping out so many great charity groups these past few weeks. I want y'all to take a look at just some of the people we've, we've helped out. Look, look at this. I'm with Arizona's Children's Association. The Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. Of the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank. The Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. Feeding Kentucky. The Oxfam. The Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida. We're funding programs that get at the heart of racial healing. Love. We also sent doctors to Arizona to treat patients on the Kayenta Indian Reservation impacted by COVID-19. That is dedicated to transforming the lives of children and families who are struggling with a mental health or learning disorder. We have been working for the past 40 years to help Native communities throughout the United States rebuild their economies. Every week we're providing thousands of meals. Together, we can feed AZ. We're able to do it through donations that we got from people like you and from HQ Trivia. Thank you so much for your support and your generous donation. Thank you so much for your interest in our work. Thank you so much for all of your support. We're here for you. Stay safe, stay masked, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. How about all that, huh? And it wasn't just HQ, it was you too. So many of you gave to these great movements through their websites and using HQ's own Donate Winnings feature. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep donating when you can, and we look forward to more giving to come. All right? We're going to keep the giving train a chugging along. Here's how the feature works. Take a look. You can donate your winnings in the app, right in the app. That's a beautiful thing. Now, are you ready to enroll in HQ University? Try out for the fact skitball team? And earn your degree in quantum quizics? I don't think the game can wait much longer. Good trivia games are always ready to bust out and get played by smart people like you. That's facts. If you got a ball game on right now, mute the sound, okay? Because you're gonna need full concentration to get through what's ahead. If the doorbell rings, just yell back, Come back later! I'm busy! And if the house is on fire, protect the Wi-Fi router. That's first, then get the kids, then the pets. Okay, and you can play outside on the grass. So trust your instincts, knowledge is power, and as always, there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Which of these animals has antlers? Bull, reindeer, or ram? What's it gonna be? Okay, well these all look like horned animals, except antlers aren't quite the same as horns, because they shed. And you find them on members of the deer family, like reindeer. 62,530 got it right. Here in America, reindeer are likely to be called caribou. Knowledge getting dropped. Question number two, what you gonna do? The Rock was the first African-American champion of what? MLB, PGA, or WWE? <laughs> what is it gonna be? Dwayne Johnson could easily dominate a lot of sports. Hey, he dominated HQ when he was here. Friend of the show. But it was the WWE where he blazed trails before moving to full-time acting. Maybe it was that cooking he kept talking about. 
if you smell what the quiz is cooking. And I, I was working on my eyebrow. 62,233 got it right. On the ropes, not quite. Question number three. What is not a common ingredient in hummus? Chickpeas, rice, or tahini? Hummus. Get a little hummus in your life. Mmm. It's one tasty, tasty dipping sauce. But you aren't going to find much rice in there. Not a lot of rice in the hummus. 58,849 got it right. You get a lot of flavor from the tahini, which is made of sesame seeds. Uh, then lemon juice and garlic and olive oil are other common ingredients. Try it at home. Get you some chickpeas, cook them on down, spring a little tahini, you know what it is. Yeah. Question number four, knocking on your door. Which of these far-flung places is in Africa? Kalamazoo, Podunk, or Timbuktu? Okay, <laughs> Kalamazoo's in Michigan. And there are podunks sprinkled around America. But Timbuktu was a mighty city in Mali. That's Africa. Boom! Timbuktu is still there, of course, but in centuries past, it was a major center of learning and trade. 52,682. Got it right. Timbuktu. Oh, yeah. Question number five for the children. How is a portcullis closed? Dropping, swinging, or twisting? What's it gonna be, y'all? Now look, I bet you've seen a portcullis even if you don't recognize the name. It's that metal grating that blocks a castle entrance. Surely you've seen one drop in a movie. Drop in a movie because they be dropping. The name literally comes from the French for a uh, sliding door. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's a castle door. 38,583 in the place to be. Question number six goes a little something like this. Let's go to work. Which publication found recurring success with their fictional character, Bat Boy? National Enquirer, The Onion, or Weekly World News? Bat Boy, where were you seeing Bat Boy? Hmm, do you remember? Do you remember the Bat, Bat Boy? All right, <laughs> it may have been a while since you saw Bat Boy, especially at a supermarket checkout. He appeared on plenty of covers of the off-the-hook tabloid, Weekly World News! 25,887 got it right. Intentional satire or not, the print edition lasted nearly 30 years. Whoa. Question number seven, babies. Who lived at the namesake of Jerry Rafferty's highest charting hit, Bob Dylan, Sherlock Holmes, or Methuselah? Take your pick, cause the time gon' tick. So make it quick. Okay, here we go. Ah, what? <laughs> Why did I, ah, I was doing so good. Uh. <laughs> the name's not a coincidence. Jerry said he named it after London's own Baker Street. Home of Sherlock Holmes. 22,794, got it right. There's a mystery afoot. Any fan of mystery fiction will tell you that 221B Baker Street is Sherlock's crash pad. My dear Watson. Listen to this. Oh yeah, Jerry Rafferty. <laughs> Question number eight. No, you're feeling great. Woo! What's up, Nate? It's poppin', dog. Mmm. Got to hydrate. Blah, blah, blah. Question number eight. The current president of Nintendo of America shares a name with a character in which game? Animal Crossing, Metroid Prime, or Super Mario 64? 
what it is. It took decades of existence, but they finally came full circle on their own company with Doug Bowser. He's their president, their new president. Look at him. He doesn't look like a Mario character, but Bowser is that guy. Yeah, their office probably looks like Mario 64. 22,112 got it right. What's crazy is Link used to be a more common first name. Super Mario 64, the answer to question number eight. Question number nine, if you're feeling fine. In India's caste system, the untouchables were found where in the hierarchy? Top, middle, or bottom? Where are the untouchables in the Indian caste system's hierarchy? Okay, the untouchable aspect didn't mean royals that you were forbidden to touch. More like you wouldn't want to touch these folks at the bottom. Messed up. 22,074, y'all got it right. Its history is murky, but genetics suggest it started around 500 AD when intermarrying suddenly stopped. Oh boy. Question number 10. My friends, time to get it in. The dollar sign, this one, is largely thought to be based on what country's currency? England, Germany, or Spain? Okay, the word dollar might go back to the German language, but the most accepted theory on the symbol is that it's shorthand for the Spanish peso. Ooh, 19,498 of y'all are really smart about the money. Come on now. Yes, is a uh, shorthand for the Spanish peso. Like I said, someone was writing the peso, peso so much, the P and the S were merged and it caught on. Good job, babies. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. And this one is about dinosaurs. Which dinosaur lived in the same geological period as the Stegosaurus? Pterodactyl, Triceratops, or Tyrannosaurus? What's it gonna be? Dinosaur DNA! <laughs> People think the age of the dinosaurs was all of them just hanging out at the same time. But only Pterodactyls got a good look at a moving Stegosaurus. Yeah, baby, Stegos were Jurassic and gone more than 15 million years uh, when the other guys showed up in the Cretaceous period. Oh my gosh, that's a savage dinosaur question. Don't get with it. That means 6,359 of you at least are going on to the final question. We got about 7,800 extra lives that just got used on that savagery, baby. Q12, final question of the game. Shout out to everybody that's still in it, cause you getting your rewards and things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. The moment we've all been waiting for, the final question of the game, question 12. What's that smell? Which nation's capital is named for a day of the week? Fiji, Suriname, or Tajikistan? Day of the week. All right, tell the Garfield fan in your life that you know his least favorite capital city. Because Monday translates to Dushanbe in the Persian language. And if you got this right, you know this. Dushanbe is the capital of Tajikistan, y'all. What? Let's go! Ooh! Wow! Split! Crazy! 4,800 players just won HQ Trivia, baby! Let's go to work! Woo! That was exciting! I did not see that coming! You never know how it's gonna go here, baby! Celebrate if you want! Come on now! Do your dance! Do your victory dance, baby! Oh, look at the stars falling on you! Lyrics, The Mighty Pigeon, <laughs> PMS Peg, Antonia 67, Elevator Dude, Another Car, Sophia 83, Chan 11111, 
Who else we got? Let's see. Uh, Michigo, Amars, Soflo tries. Please win, please. <laughs> you did. Congratulations. Rosie D66, Mama Char, Bo 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 Bo. Awesome. One, two, three. Good job. Y'all did that. I like to call it a good way to cap off a weekend. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't earn something, you definitely learned something. You got, you got facts in your mind now. You can take to your Zoom calls for work when you're working from home. Tell them you learned about hummus and portcullises and, and, and the capital of Tajikistan is Dushanbe. And now your brain is prepared for the week ahead. So try to make it a good one, y'all. Come at the week with all the strength you got. <sighs> But I'm not suggesting there won't be any fun for the next five days. We're going to be right here, keeping your head tuned up. I hope you can make it. It's always exciting. And of course, setting notifications is a great way to make sure you don't ever miss a game. Until I talk to you again, this is Matt Richard saying, only two weeks left in summer, so if you're going to make some s'mores, now's the time. Now is the time for s'mores. Mm -mm -mm.